Hey guys, this is Yahya from VR Division and welcome to our first tutorial in Unreal Engine 4. Today I will show you my process in creating architectural projects in Unreal Engine and in future lessons we will explain everything in detail. First we will download Unreal Engine, then we will install Datasmith for 3ds Max and then we will get Lushang GPU Light Baker. As an example we will use a beautiful scene from our motion and we will export it from 3ds Max to Unreal Engine using Datasmith Exporter. So our first step is getting Unreal Engine 4 and to do that, let's go to Google and search for it. If you recently got GTA 5 from Epic Store, then you have an account. If you don't have an account, then you need to create one. If you're using Unreal Engine 4 for architecture like me, then you need to select a creator's license. After you select a license, your browser will download Epic Games Launcher. Set up the launcher on your computer and sign in. Click on Unreal Engine on the left not friends, Unreal Engine. The first page you will see is basically what's up. This page updates on regular basis. For example, you're going to see what's free on the marketplace this month. If you click on the learn tab, you will find so many projects that you can download and learn from. I started using Unreal Engine more than five years ago. And if it was not for this tab, wow, I don't think I would be where I am today. So I highly recommend exploring this tab. Now to get Unreal Engine, click on library. In library, you will find the engine versions you got in, on your machine and you will find your projects and you will find the content you buy from the marketplace. To add an engine version, click on the little plus button on the left and select the latest version. In my case, I already got Unreal 4.25.1. After you select a version, click on install, select a location, then click on install again. Oh boy, it's Datasmith time. Datasmith is like magic. It's a collection of tools and plugins that help you bringing your projects to Unreal Engine 4. This tool saved me weeks, if not months, of additional work. So in our case, we need to download the exporter for 3ds Max. Click download and try installing the plugin faster than me. It's time for Lushuang GPU Light Map Baker. If you use Unreal Engine mainly for architecture, this will make your life so much easier. However, it's super important that you read the first page and understand the limitations of the baker. For example, it's written in CUDA, therefore it works on NVIDIA cards only. After you download the baker, copy it to your engine and extract the files, then replace all. Open 3ds Max, make some teapots or open your project. Now click on File, Export. Name your project and save the extension as Unreal Data Smith. Go back to Epic Launcher, open the version you installed, and that will take you to Unreal Project Browser. Click on Architecture, Engineering and Construction, then click Next. Select a blank template and also click Next. Choose where you want to store your project and give it a name. Then click on Create Project and wait for a while. In the middle of the top toolbar, you will find Datasmith. Locate the file you exported from 3ds Max and open it. I like to keep things organized, so make a new folder called Datasmith and click OK. Keep the normal settings and click Import. Depending on the size of your project, this may take from few seconds to few minutes. Let's say you did some changes to your Max file and you want to re-import your scene again. For example, in my case, I added this amazing scene from Evermotion to my Max file. One of the main reasons I love Evermotion is that everything is organized. The video is not sponsored by anyone, I just like the guys. Now click on export and select the same file we exported before. Max will ask you if you want to replace it, click yes. Depending on the size of your project, this may take from few seconds to few minutes. After export is done, right click our data mass file and click re-import. There is a small arrow that if you click on it, it will reveal static mesh options. Set the max light map resolution to 64. This will make it much faster to do lighting tests. After you click import, this will also take from few seconds to few minutes depending on the size of your project. After waiting for a few minutes, now we got our complete project in Unreal Engine. This used to take so much time before data mess. I told you it's magic. Now, we need to build the light. In my scene, these lights are way too intense, so I'm going to tune them down and set the intensity to something lower. Something like 10 for now should work just fine. I'm going to select the rest of the lights and set them on 10 as well. 
For this example, I'm going to activate auto exposure by searching for global exposure or post process volumes. As you can see, this is way much better. I'm going to delete the height bug. Now I'm going to select one of my cameras and I will click on build lighting only after I set the quality level on preview. This will take about few minutes. After light bake is done, you will get some error messages, but we can ignore them for now. I'll show you what they are and how we can fix them in future tutorials. As you can see, the lighting look much better. To create a material, right click somewhere in the content browser and choose material. Let's give it a name, Chrome. If you double click the material we just created, it will open the material editor. The material editor in Unreal Engine is node based and there are so many ways we can get these nodes. We will explain the material editor in depth in future tutorials. To assign a material, click and drag the material on the actor you want to assign it to. Let's add a sphere reflection capture to get some reflections. So you may ask what's next? Well, in the upcoming tutorials, I'm going to explain the whole process step by step and we will go in depth in Unreal Engine. If you got any questions, leave them at the comments so we can cover them in future videos. So again, this was Yahya from VR Division. Thank you for watching and take care.